everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is my best of beauty for 2023 i'm combining everything in one video skincare and makeup i hope i have everything i went around collecting all the products if i forget anything i will list it below but i think this is everything let's first start with makeup all right the dior lip oil i really i, I didn't see this one coming to be honest with you i have it on today uh i really love 001 it's like this bright pink i just i don't know i didn't see this one coming i don't know why it took me so long to try these uh i absolutely love them so that really kind of came out of nowhere but i said what i said i love it so much the road peptide tinted lip tints or the peptide lip tints specifically the one ribbon once again i these are so like hyped up and take so long to order them and for them to arrive and everything but i absolutely love the formula i love this color i really want to get on the wait list for that what is that that jelly bean one um but yeah and i saw on tiktok this girl i, I don't know if she was like a oh it's a it's a channel like a tiktok page i don't know if it's like one person but they um broke down they did like the science behind a ton of different lip balms to show like which has the least amount of like water loss so it's the most moisturizing and stuff would you know that road just the regular one was the top can you believe that like it was like the most moisturizing after that was like summer fridays and then a few other things but i thought that was really really interesting anyway love 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 so much there was a ton of hourglass that i loved this year the veil the um hydrating skin tint veil oh i love it so much it's so beautiful i wear one and three combined together um but it's just absolutely flawless i know these are only limited edition but the jellyfish palette from their holiday collection is my jam i wear it on the eyes and the cheeks it's beautiful and i love the colors so this had to be included even though it is limited edition um i still so much love oh i didn't oh here the glossy bombs are still one of my favorite lip formulas that i've tried um these have been out for a while but i had to include them because they still are one that i reach for all the time the um eyeshadow sticks from hourglass i love them so much I know there were some critiques about them being much more sheer than, than let's say like the Laura Mercier or the Bobbi Brown or a few others. I actually like that. They're really creamy and they swatch beautifully, but they're much more sheer on the eyes. But I love it because it's just like hint of color. They look beautiful on the lid. The shimmer is so subtle that it doesn't emphasize any type of like crepiness or anything. So I cannot say enough good things about those um what else uh here we go jones road lip liners i i'm never a lip liner person um and then she made these lip liners i love the color the formulas it's creamy but it's stiff i just love the colors i'm wearing mauve today with the dior lip oil that's all i have on my lips the mauve lip liner and then the dior lip oil and it it's weird because the mauve is kind of dark and then that's a bright pink but the two together is the most beautiful combination ever all right what else oh the jones road brow gel the tinted brow gel i've said before i am not a brow gel fan i don't have thick fluffy brows i don't want to have thick fluffy brows it's not my thing um so i just always use the hourglass brow pencil and then i tried the trini london tinted brow gel which i like then Jones Road came out with this and I have the shade light brunette and I just, I love it. Um, when I first started using it, I used to have to wipe off a little bit cause I felt like it was too much product, but I've learned now how to kind of work it. I don't know, but I love it. I did fill in my brows like for filming. I will do like the brow gel and then I'll fill in a little bit in the front with the hourglass pencil, but like day to day, I just use this and it's the perfect color. Um, so Yes, love that. But speaking of Trini London, I tried a bunch of our products this year and um, oh, I forgot, see, right there, I forgot. The BFF De-Stress Serum. It's, it, I don't know, it doesn't, it's not a serum to me. It's like a tinted moisturizer or like a, a skin tint. I love, 
love, love, love, love that skin tint. Definitely best of beauty. Also her cream eyeshadows, specifically the color mystery. And if you remember when I first got these and I started testing them, I was not excited. I was like, that is a boring brown taupe color. I like, what is that? Does it look, it looks kind of matte, flat, whatever. It is a shimmer, but it's so subtle. It's almost like a satin. And when it's on the lids for me, it literally just makes my lids look like there's a bit of shadow to them, but not in a bad way. It looks like I just have like a natural definition on my eyes. You can barely see it, but it's um, enough where my eyes look like they have like some dimension to them. I'm absolutely floored. Love, love, love that so much. Um, as well as the skin tint. The brow gel was going to be my best of beauty. And then I tried the Jones Road and that knocked the brow gel out of the running. Um, the Laura Mercier liquid highlighters, the rose gold ones, the rose glow. Um, I love these and like she made a lot of other like liquid cheek products, the bronzer, the blush, all that sort of thing. No, uh, the liquid highlighter I love similar to the Charlotte Tilbury, but for whatever reason, it looks so creamy on the skin. Uh, peach bronze is actually my favorite color to wear as a blush and I can wear it kind of like as a blush bronzer highlighter all in one because it's got the glow to it especially in the summer this was all I wanted to wear the Pat McGrath color bomb sticks this um, in the shade paradise peony I absolutely love it uh, it swatches on quite bold but it, it blends out to be very very wearable so, um, oh shoot, where was, I liked this and then, oh, here it is. Um, I'm just like, I liked that and I, and the, I grabbed something next to it and I was like, where is it? Okay. Armani Fluid Sheer Glow Enhancer. Um, yeah, I, these are magnificent. If you want the most subtle highlight, but to look like your skin is just fresh, especially if you have more mature skin, these are gorgeous. I know some people like a really bold highlight, they use powder, they whatever. This is not gonna give you that effect, okay? This is not gonna give you like an Instagram highlight or like a really bold highlight. This is gonna give you just like a hint of sheen on the cheeks, moisture, it absorbs in, you can, it, it's undetectable and, um, I, already, I bought another color. I probably will buy a third color and I very rarely buy like multiple shades in things because I'm like, all right, I got one or maybe two. I don't need to buy every single shade. I may just buy every single shade of those and eventually just put the rest of my liquid highlighters. Goodbye. Because these are that gorgeous. Um, okay. For a more affordable option, um, the Lumi Glotion, some people use it like as a primer. I saw this video on TikTok and this makeup artist used it after she did some like powder blush on the cheeks. She then took a little bit of the Lumi Glotion. I have the shade uh, Fair. She put it on her hand. She took a, a big stippling brush and she just popped it all over the cheeks to add some glow, but also moisture because it was all powder. I was like, sold. So I have been doing that little trick when I do want to wear a powder blush and bronzer. I'm like, I need a little bit of moisture added to the cheeks. And sometimes a liquid highlighter is just like more makeup. This feels like almost like a skincare product because it's so sheer. So like I said, I just put it in the back of my hand, take a stippling brush and just kind of stipple it onto the cheeks all over. Gorgeous. It adds some moisture. It adds some glow. It's so subtle. Um, Love, love, love. Oh, guys, did did we ever think I was going to be here? I have been asked to review the Chanel Cream Bronzer for years. I don't know why. I just was always like, is it really going to be that great? Chanel products often let me down. I said that before. I mean, there's some products I love and some products I'm like, what? Are you, right? What? Um, but this Chanel cream bronzer. This is the limited edition size in the shade tan bronze. Hands down best cream bronzer ever tried. You guys are right. You guys were like, no, seriously, it is, it will be the best cream bronzer you'll ever try. And you know what? 
place and not steer me wrong. Uh, it is, hands down. I love other cream bronzers. I will use other cream bronzers. But at this point, this is up on the pedestal. It's going to take a phenomenal formula to knock this off from the color to the way it melts into the skin. I just, um, and the $40 size is still in stock. It says limited edition. I don't know. Maybe that's just like a way to get us to buy it faster. Um, anyway, if you've been thinking about it, you want to try it, but you don't want to spend the $60, $40 is cheaper. Is it like super cheap? No, it's Chanel. But, um, I could, I could stomach $40 for this because I know I won't hit pan for a long time. But if we are talking powder bronzer, um, which I still wear, Jones Road, hands down. Jones Road. Um, the bronzer in light tan. Love it, love it, love it. And I love her bronzer brush. Oh, here it is. With it, too. This is absolutely beautiful. Love this formula. Jones Road has really been just killing it. And to be honest with you, I do like Bobbi Brown cosmetics, but I never was like, like a diehard fan. I felt like some of the formulas were like, oh, oh, okay, I like some things, don't like others, whatever. But I have loved almost everything I've tried from Jones Road. I actually have a full review on my blog of like almost everything I've tried from the brand. There's been some like likes, things that I'm kind of like, eh, I, I, I could take it or leave it. And then loves. And I would say like 80% it's been loves. And I just keep updating that blog post. So literally it's not like multiple reviews on my blog of Jones Road. It's just one post and I just keep updating it. So, um, she has just really impressed me this year. Uh, another powder cheek product that I love is the RMS Beauty Hydro Blush. This is the color French Rose. Um, I've tried RMS Beauty products back in the day. Um, a lot of them, my skin was a lot oilier, oilier years ago. So that often didn't work with like the real emolliency of her products. And a lot of her products are very emollient, very hydrating, very moisturizing. And as someone with oily skin, it just was too much for me. Um, but I started trying more products from the line. It could be because my skin is a little bit drier that I'm loving it, but this is a powder blush. So I just love the formula. It's gorgeous. It's has shimmer to it, but the shimmer is so subtle. Um, and then the piece de resistance from I, I, maybe everything that I've tried this year, the RMS Beauty Supernatural Radiant Serum SPF 30. I have the shade Light Aura. <clears throat> it is magnificent. It is thick enough to be worn alone, but still looks great under makeup. Uh, gives a glow, doesn't make me look greasy. It's like these ethereal lit from within glow to my skin. Mm -mm. Mm. It is stunning, stunning. Um, and uh, I don't know if I'll ever be without it again. Uh, I haven't tried mixing it in. I like it just straight on the skin um, and the way that it looks. It's just 10 out of 10 out of 10. Um, oh, I got this little, I have everything right here on my table. I didn't break it up into categories. So uh, the Pixie On The Glow Bronze. Uh, this went viral on TikTok many times. Um, I didn't understand like what the big deal was. And then they had sent me some shades to try. Uh, I was like, whoa, this is glorious. First of all, you would think like this big old stick. You're like, okay, that's like way too big. No, nope. the perfect size. You just like swipe, swipe. Um, sheer, but still has color, uh, looks healthy. Your cheeks look healthy, moisturized, but not greasy, not glowy, not shimmery, but just healthy and moisturized with a bit of color. Um, this during the summer was all I wanted to wear. It was flawless. Um, and yeah, I just, I get the hype now. I get why everyone loves it so much. Am I missing something? I have the Chanel, da, 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 da. Oh, um, I'm gonna mention again, the BK Beauty brushes, they're still my favorite. Um, the only brush besides this that I like is that Jones Road one, but I still just almost exclusively use BK Beauty brushes because they are that good. Um, love them so much. All right, let's move on to skincare. All right, let's talk about like a product that I was like, 
what where once again from road like coming out of nowhere the road skin glazing milk what does it do i don't know but i love it i love it i use it as an essence but also i use it um maybe after my serum before my moisturizer if i want like another bit of moisture like a little sandwich of moisture in my skin between my serum and moisturizer i pat 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 this in um maybe i've done my skincare in the morning and then I run to take Miles to school, come back home. My skincare is already sunk in, but I like my skin to be a slightly bit damp before I apply my makeup. I just find my makeup applies better. Hello, getting older. So I just take a little bit of this in my hand, pat, 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 apply my foundation, flawless, gorgeous. Um, so I, is it gonna be a repurchase? You betcha. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna stop using it, but I absolutely love it. Um, I had to include my Ren Plumping Essence it's holy grail at this point for me. Um, I actually layer these two together in my routine, morning and night, cleanse, tone, and then layer these. Um, and uh, I love it. I love how plump it makes my skin. It looks fresh, it looks hydrated, it looks plump, it looks everything I want it to look. Um, all right, Tatcha, Indigo Cleansing Balm. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I've said before though, it needs to be bigger. This is too tiny. This is this is not gonna. This is not gonna work. I need a jumbo size. I don't use it to remove makeup because that feels like a waste. With this, this is so nourishing, calming, soothing, nourishing. Did I say nourishing right? I don't know if I did. I don't want to waste it removing my makeup. So this has become like a second cleanse, especially going into winter. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's all I want to wear. Tatcha Overnight Indigo Repair. Uh, I've used this for a while, but I just had to bring it up again because it's part of the whole Indigo line. I love it so much. And um, yeah, so it had to be my best of beauty. The Alvin Beauty Ghost Berry Cream. I, I'm really loving moisturizers that are big on repairing and strengthening the skin barrier. Once again, as I'm getting older, my skin's getting drier. It's getting, I don't know, more delicate. So I want a moisturizer that is going to strengthen my skin barrier and keep it strong. Because it's not, my skin barrier is not very damaged, but I want it to stay strong. This is so cocooning and nourishing and calming. It is gorgeous. I love their Melt Moisturizer. I've used a lot of Elf and Beauty products. I like a lot of them. This is a love, 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 love. And I am a huge Colleen Rothschild fan. I've said before, I've been using her products for 10 plus years. Um, I know sometimes it's, her products are no must, no fuss for me. They're not like groundbreaking, but I keep going back to them because my skin, whatever products I'm using from hers, my skin always looks good consistently. And that's what I've noticed from her products. Well, I'll, I'll have products here and there, and I'm like, whoa, that really made a difference, and wow, that's amazing. But her products always, it's just, when I'm using them, it's always consistently looks good. I rarely have breakouts, dry spots, irritation, nothing. And so I had to add some more things. The gel cleanser, it's so, it's such a like uh, gel cleanser, a second cleanse, whatever. It is so glorious and gorgeous. Gel cleansers are hit or miss with me because a lot of them foam and foam is gonna just strip my skin. I want those oils, I want that moisture. I don't want it taken away by a foam. But this does not. It's so creamy and beautiful, but still gives you that refreshing feeling, not that squeaky clean. Mm -hmm. We don't want squeaky clean. Squeaky clean means the oils and all that goodness that your skin is supposed to have to survive has been just stripped off. So then, in turn, when you have that squeaky clean feeling, which can almost feel kind of tight, your skin's like, whoa, there's no oil on the skin. We need to produce more. And then you end up in this cycle of like squeaky clean. Your skin gets oily because it has to have oil on it to survive. And then you end up in this cycle of like stripping the oils. Your skin has to produce more, da, 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 da. Once I learned that, even as an oily skin person years ago, changed my skin. I was like, oh, I don't want to take away the oil on my skin. It's supposed to be there. I need to nourish that and, and work with it. Anyway, balancing gel cleanser, amazing. Her hair mask. 
I don't, why have I never tried her hairline before? Because I hear so many good things about it. Once again, no muss, no fuss. Simple hydrating hair mask. I love it. I love it. Uh, I don't know. I have all different hair masks that I try and use here and there. This is one I feel like I'm just going to keep repurchasing. Because once again, her products never let me down. They're so consistent. This is such a little fun discovery. And it has to be my best of beauty because it is so fun to use. The Clarins Cryo Flash Mask. It's like a cryotherapy. It's a cold mask. Um, it's fun to use. You get great results. It feels amazing. It's always sold out. Comes back in stock. So if you can grab it, grab it. And, oh, another Colleen Rothschild product. The Universal Rescue Balm that she came out with. It's a very concentrated solid balm. Use it in all different places. But where I use it the most? On the heels and my feet. I just take it, rub it on the heels of my feet, put on the little moisturizing socks that she sells, and my heels are no longer cracking. Another um, foot product that I love is the Amlactin Foot Repair, 15% glycolic acid. So if you have any cuts on your foot, ow. So if you don't have any cuts on your foot, but I use this um, a couple of times a week. It'll make your feet so soft. You can get this on Amazon. And finally, I think I talked about everything, is my current body LED mask. This is what I use six nights a week. It's, uh, you know, um, LED, so red light therapy. There's so many good benefits to red light therapy. I have a whole blog post dedicated to this. Um, I have a discount code for it. Uh, I wear it six nights a week and LED, like red light therapy helps with like healing. It can help stimulate collagen production. Um, there's just so many good things. My skin just looks overall clearer. It heals faster when I have like any type of like breakout and maybe I pick at it. And my skin heals a lot faster when using this. Anyway, it is a splurge, but I will say I'm so consistent with it and I love the results that I get. So um, I had to include that. And that is it. This is a long, oh, almost fell there. Oh gosh. Can you imagine ending the video like that? All right, long video had to be. It's best of beauty. Hope you enjoyed. And I will list everything I talked about down below. And I will talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.